Hello everyone, my name is Christopher Derson. I will be presenting my Data Mining 2 final project, Hearing the Silent, using deep learning to interpret American Sign Language. The goal of this project is to utilize publicly available data sets for the development and training of a deep learning model to interpret American Sign Language. Existing data sets include features such as 2D and 3D hand joint positions, depth maps, foreground and background masks, as well as the corresponding RGB image data. To create a more robust model and utilize all of these uh, data sets, 3D hand pose estimation is accomplished through combining uh, predicted depth and 2D key point estimations. 2D key point uh, joint position estimations are accomplished via an encoder decoder neural network architecture. This neural network will have skip connections for multi scale analysis, allowing high accuracy for both large and small hands relative to the image frame. Uh, target variables include bounding box center, 21 hand key points, one for the wrist and four for each finger, as well as the ratio of the bounding box's width and height compared to the original image's width and height. Uh, key point heat maps are learned instead of directly regressing to key point positions. This allows for a more general model and uh, prevents overfitting. Depth estimation is accomplished with a similar architecture to 2D key point. Estimation, it's done through an encoder decoder neural network architecture with skip connections for a multi scale analysis. However, input will be masked to represent only hand pixels and remove any background noise during training. Uh, this means the target is a relative depth, uh, which represents the range of depths all within the hand region of the image. A 3D pose estimation is then accomplished via a Bayesian model. A set of 3D points are sampled from the predicted depth map, as well as an initial pose is created based on the 2D hand key point predictions. Uh, a 3D hand model is then uh, iteratively generated to minimize an, by minimizing an ener energy function with the following constraints. The distance from the subsampled 3D points to the hand model surface is minimized, as well as the joint key points are in a physically viable and statistically probable configuration for a hand. In the top right, you can see how this uh, iterative model will converge to a uh, particular hand pose. And in the bottom right, you can see some predicted uh, values for 3D hand pose estimation. So hand pose estimation is only one part of interpreting ASL. Other steps include tracking the hand position relative to the subject's head or body, as well as their facial expression to um, since ASL is a very uh, relies on uh, expressed emotions as well as hand gestures and hand poses. And on top of this, an actual transcribed ASL video data set is required to be generated. I found a YouTube channel which has some of that data already there for us. The overall pipeline would then utilize a recurrent neural network trained on 3D hand poses and tracking paths and facial expressions for each frame of the video for you. Uh, that's all I have and I hope you enjoyed.